Its organizers wanted Norwich's first gay pride march to spread messages of tolerance and understanding. It may have done that, but four months later it's reignited a debate. Where does freedom of speech end and a hate crime begin? A committed Christian, 67-year-old Pauline Howe, protested peacefully against the march. She then wrote to Norwich City Council, claiming she'd been abused by some of those taking part. People came up and whispered it in my ear and were gone. It was only when I thought about what was said afterwards, I realised just how bad it was. Concerned that her letter might break hate laws, the council passed it to the police. Neither the council nor the police would let us see the exact contents of the letter, but we understand it's said that homosexual practices were unacceptable to God and were responsible for spreading diseases. The police told us, we investigate all alleged hate incidents. In this instance, the individual concerned was visited by officers. The comments discussed and no further action was taken. Today, the march's organisers claimed Mrs Howe's letter showed the kind of prejudice they were trying to counter. And we've seen recently with the BNP being on question time, this has been discussed a lot. My personal view is um, I, th I believe in democracy, but I also believe there's a responsibility and there's a limit, and there are some points of view that are, that are too hateful to be said. But the Christian Institute, which produced the video of Mrs Howe and posted it on YouTube, is now investigating whether her rights have been breached. I think that the uh, homosexual lobby um, has become increasingly aggressive and tried to shut down any criticism of homosexual conduct. Uh, and I don't think that that is healthy in a free society. Let's have an open debate about it, but let's not send the police around just because someone says something you don't like. Now both sides say they will continue trying to get their point of view across. Matthew Hudson, Anglian News in Norwich.